bad. Does this look familiar, Zach? Familiar. Localizer. Green dot flap one. Wow, Mike, thanks. <laughs> 420 blaze it. Uh. Eh. Alright, uh, activate the approach. Um, go around altitude today. Oh, I lost all my points. F. Um, go around altitude is 9,000. Ooh. A little bit high, are we? Does indeed look familiar. Well, great. All right, ten miles to go. Flap two. We'll go ahead and uh, let the cabin know we are arriving soon. Gosh, my nose! Holy crap! There's something wrong with me. Anyways. Let's get ready here <clears throat> for our arrival. Thank you. All right, since we're capturing our close slope now, going out to 9,000 feet is set. Uh, you're so happy I'm flying here? Well, thank you. Gear down. Why can't I hear anything? Oh, that's why. Flap three. Alright, flap full. Landing checklist. Cabin secured for landing. Auto thrust speed. Go around altitude 9,000 foot. Set. EK memo. Landing no blue. Clear to land runway 13. Here we go, y'all. My plane. Well, I had to say all that. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you had to say it? Well, I have a checklist right in front of me. Oh. I should start using a checklist. <laughs> What? I said I should start using a checklist. Yeah, I have one. I'll send it to you if you want. Okay. It's for the A320 family. I have an emergency checklist too for the A320, which is nice. Look at this pitch attitude we got going. Nice! So in the Airbus, the first I'm setting only puts out the, or the slats. Um, in the air, yes. Continue. Uh, 
All right. Ground spoilers. Reverse green diesel. Yeah, ouch. There's something different about the A319. I still need to get used to this. A319 is so much different to land than the A321. Knots, 60 knots, a forward idle, manual brakes, oh gosh, all over the place. Yeah, I need to get used to this. Did, uh, you know, did Simjo cannot see the landing rate? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, just go ahead and prime the EPU real quick. Mike, are you seeing any frame hit using a second monitor? Nope. Not really. Okay. Did you plug it into your graphics card or your computer? Graphics card. Okay. Alright, spoilers, flaps. Let's make sure not to go into the grass. There we go. Yep. Alright. Wing light can come off, strobes, wing, the runway turn off, so there we go. <laughs> oh gosh, stutters. Well, welcome to Prova. <laughs> Hopefully we can redeem ourselves in Phoenix. You coming along, Mike? Mm. Hey, Micah. Yeah. If I worked for Allegiant United and I got flight benefits, I could uh, take a trip to Salt Lake. <laughs> Wait, what? I said if I worked for United or Allegiant, I can use my flight benefits to uh, take a trip to uh, uh, Salt Lake. What about Delta or Southwest? <laughs> well, I'm not working for Southwest or Delta because there's no bases here. What about American? There's no American. We get United in the Legion. Huh. I want to. I don't want to pay for flights anymore. <sighs> Here's our gates. The only one at Prova. 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 Oh, what is that Provo marking? <laughs> I don't know. Is that there in real life? Do you know that, uh, Zach? It's so cringe. Ugh. God, that's a tiny ter terminal. Attack air. I don't know. Why did they decide to fly a legion into here? Oh, we got a marshaller. Sweet. It's definitely not there. Okay. Is this Tac Air Terminal here where Allegiant parks? So cringe. I feel like better pushback, or not better pushback, auto gate brings you in like way too close. I'm sure you can adjust it. I'm sure you can, somehow. Alright, stopper there, park brake set, engines to cut off, seatbelts off. Yep. 
And wait for 10 percent and one. There we go. Beacon cut off. Ladies and gentlemen, after an hour and 38 minutes flight time, we are. Oh, we're actually nine minutes ahead of schedule. Welcome to Provo. That's a Legion for you. Yep. Every time I flew on a Legion, we got there early. Really? Yeah, when we did do when we did have the flights, and then it was either like we either got there early or it was delayed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> 